Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we'll go over how to declare variables, how to go how to do some basic math, and then print our answers into a panel. To get started, I already have a visual basic button with three variables, height, tread, and rise, and they're all type hint at double. Also have three sliders, a height, tread, and rise at 10, 12, and 6 respectively. We're going to double click on the VB and then delete your code here and I'm going to write a comment and to do that just do an, just type in an apostrophe and then I'm going to type in declare a new variable for number of steps since this definition will eventually evolve into a staircase I want to know what I'm doing in case I have to look back into my my code so to declare a variable a new variable inside the script I'm going to type in dim and then the name of our new variable I'm just going to say num and um as double which means it's going to be a double and the visual basic script will automatically correct um, capitalization for you next thing we want to do is figure out the height of our our um, our staircase and then divide it by the rise in inches to figure out the number of steps a any all your answers will always be on the left side so num equals open parentheses height times the 12 which is inches to um, to figure out the height in inches and then we're going to divide it by the rise and these inputs are from the sliders and then we're going to hit enter so in case so the next thing we want to do is to floor down our answers such as if you have a height of 15 and then a rise of 7 we're going to get a decimal number maybe something like 27.6 you're not going to have a 0.6 of a step so we're going to round that down to 27 steps also if you have 27.9 it'll go down to 27 27.2 it'll go down to 27 and we're going to also do that within printing out our answers into a panel so to do that we're going to type in print open parentheses and then open quotation. Anything in the quotation will be printed out as a string. So number of steps, colon, and quotations. So now anything after will be written as an expression. So to activate the expression, you need to type in ampersand. And then now we can do what we need to do. So to, to floor things, we don't know. If you're not sure of how to get certain mathematical, um, uh, mathematical equations, such as um, absolute value, arc cosine, things like that. Just type in math, period, and it'll give you a list of what you need to, what you need. Such as there's um, absolute value at the beginning of the list, arc cosine, cosine, and here's our floor. The opposite of floor is ceiling up here, so, and we just need floor, so we're gonna hit floor, and then open parentheses, and we want to floor our num. So then we're going to close parentheses for the floor and then close parentheses for the print. And then we're going to click OK. And then and then now if you hover over out, it says number of steps 20. And I'm going to put this into a panel. So I'm going to link this to our receiver that's connected to the panel. And now you can see that it says number of steps 20. And if I raise this up, so 15 at the tread of 12, rise of 6 is going to be 30 steps and it will always stay at a integer. So that's how you declare new variables within the script, do some basic math, and how to print our answers into a panel in Visual Basic. Thanks for watching.